Welcome to Top Tip Tuesday. My name's Renee, and I'm going to help you keep your conversation going when you can't find a word in English. I often see students get stuck when they can't think of a word and end up taking long pauses, giving up on the conversation, or even speaking their first language to try to communicate. So let me help you. For example, when discussing your health, you may need to communicate that you want to take your temperature but you can't think of the word for the tool you need to do this. Don't give up. You can try to describe the word you're looking for using a relative or adjective clause. I need the thing which is used to take your temperature. This picture shows the object I can't remember. The thing is the noun I chose to describe this type of word. Which is the relative pronoun? And the description follows. It's a thermometer. When you can't think of a word, first, think of what type of word you are trying to describe. Is it an object, a place, a process, an idea, a feeling, or a person? This will help you to choose the correct relative pronoun. For example, if you're describing a person, you can use who, an object or an idea, which, a process or a place where, or you could use that for all of them in some cases. You can also add small phrases like, how do you say that thing that turns to make electricity? It's a turbine. What's the word for the place where you connect your electrical device to the wall? It's a socket. So next time you're tempted to explain something in your own language, start with, what's the name for the video series that helps me to improve my English? Top Tip Tuesday.